Now with correlation coefficients, um, the correlation coefficient is going to range from uh, plus one to negative one. And you might see some slight variations in this in different textbooks, but generally it's considered that 0 0.70 uh, to 1 is considered a strong correlation. As such, a, uh, a negative 0.70 to negative 1 strong correlation, because we can have a negative correlation uh, between two items. Um, for instance, there might be a negative correlation between grit and apathy. Um, and so then between uh, 0.4 and 0.7 is moderate. Um, that would be a moderate positive correlation. And zero would be no, no correlation. Um, but then anything uh, but in between here, zero to 0.4 would be weak. So that's, that's how it's uh, generally done. But you might see some slight variations when, in different texts. Now just to show you what a positive correlation would look like, and we're just talking about correlation, so that's all we're really commenting about is, is it positive or negative and the, and the relative strength, okay? It's either weak, moderate, or strong. And for instance, we're going to put, um, uh, this is y-axis, doesn't look like a y-axis, but we put grit, we're going to put the grit on the y-axis, we're plotting those points there, we're plotting the conscientiousness scale on the x-axis, um, we're always wanting to put our dependent variable on the y-axis, and let's, we'll just say that we're interested in grit. That's kind of the result we're interested in because we've got a lot of research behind the conscientiousness and grit's a little newer. And what essentially we'd say is, hey, if somebody scored low on conscientiousness, we're gonna scope, if it's a positive correlation, they scored lower on grit. If they scored high, this is higher over here, higher up here, high on conscientiousness, then a positive correlation would suggest that they also scored higher on grit. Now, um, let, me, uh, let me go ahead and just put apathy here to look at a negative correlation. Okay. So let's say we've got this student has taken a grit scale, or students have taken a grit scale and a scale measuring apathy, and a negative correlation would be that people who score high in apathy, this is higher, would score lower on the grit scale, persistence. Somebody who's, uh, who's scoring high in apathy might not have that persistence to follow through with goals. And that somebody who scores lower on apathy would score higher on grit. So that would be a negative, a negative correlation.